so uh, the vision is to go around the different streets in the parish, starting with the Portobello Road right here, and um, to set up a speaker system um, and then invite everyone from the comfort of their own homes and safety, or perhaps from their doorway, to join in in singing an old classic and favourite hymn. And then I'm going to lead us all in the Lord's Prayer. My heart with it was really to bring hope, because I think that's a crucial thing that we will all be challenged um, by not having enough of. And so all I'm proposing is that we sing one song together. You know, recognising that I've got a bit of a captive audience. I don't want to uh, abuse that or take advantage. Uh, so I normally start by saying, you know, I'm not going to preach at you. Uh, even though I then slip in a little bit of preaching. God is not intimidated by coronavirus. What I've been amazed by is how much people are thankful for this and how it's moving people. And I'm just getting dozens and dozens of messages on Facebook or Instagram or even email. That just speaks of how much people are longing for something, you know, um, even if it's just a distraction. But I think it's more than that. I think there's a power in this and there's the power of hope. You know when you've done everything? I mean, it's come up occasionally, um, but I mean, you know, I would never make such a claim for myself. But obviously when you're relatively young, and um, I'm older than I look, but when you're relatively young and you wear one of these, I mean, obviously some sort of comparison one hopes is inevitable.